Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 2. Today is going to be something a little bit different. It's going to be an intermission day before we get into the finale of the game, uh, which should be pretty short and it'll be coming up tomorrow. Specifically, the loose end that we're going to be tying up is that final Nomad Gnome. We got one in the Kingdom of the Dead, we got one in Lost Light, we got one in Shadow's Edge, so naturally it would follow that there would be one here in the Forge Lands. And indeed, it's in the Weeping Crag, which was that side dungeon that we passed by on the way into the Baneswood. We're not doing the whole dungeon today. As you can see from the length of the video, this is going to be like three or four minutes long. Instead, uh, the statue is luckily very early in the dungeon. We just have to complete one quick puzzle, plus getting inside, uh, to get to it. Now, unlike the other three, we could not have gotten this one on the first visit to the Forge Lands, where we started the game out in. Because this one actually requires the key item that we got in Lost Light for Voidwalker in order to even access. We also may have needed the Soul Splitter just to get this far. I can't remember if there's another way to do this part. But either way, we need the Voidwalker for what's coming up. And once those Voidwalker portals are placed, uh, we'll come to a passageway with a chest in it that has a generous skill point. Nothing fancy in here, just skill point, which honestly I would take over randomized loot just because it's consistent. Uh, but more importantly than that is what's below the chest or the chests in this room. See like that, just a white shoulder piece. Uh, there is a pond in this room, which you can jump down into. Once everything is taken care of, we can just swim through an underwater cavern to grab the final Nomad Gnome. Which... sends us back to the Serpent Tomes to collect our prize. And remember, these statues are named for the series artist Joe Mad. And what do we get for all that? We get the Nomad Scythes, some really spiffy scythes, uh, which are just these sinister-looking garden gnomes <laughs> with the pointy hats uh, being the blades of the scythes, and they cause random things to happen when you rock their special effect. Now, if this game had a transmog system, uh, my possessed scythes would totally rock that look because I greatly enjoy their art. Next up is going to be the finale of Darksiders 2, and that should be going up tomorrow, and then we have some new LPs to be starting. Till then, thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.